Hello everybody, Son of a Brick for another video. Today we're taking a look at the Lego Marvel Spider-Man set 76173, Spider-Man and Ghost Rider vs. Carnage set. 212 pieces, retails for $19.99 US dollars. 7 plus set. There's, there's the back. There's the front. Alrighty, I'll be right back once it's built. Alright, we're back. Finished building it. Pretty cool set. Really cool build. Let's take a look at the minifigures first. Alright, so here we have Carnage. This is a minifigure that's kind of been around for a few years. He uh, has a really nice um, print. He looks really cool. I really don't know much about him. Other than um, he's a Spider-Man villain. But yeah, that's about it for him. Here we have the Ghost Rider. He is a um, brand new minifigure. Uh, he has uh, his headpiece is similar to the molding of uh, Hades from the Disney series 2 minifigures. New print for the torso, plain black legs, leather jacket print, really cool. Anyways, that's about it for him. Anyways, this is the brand this is the brand new Spider-Man. That's new for the 2021 sets. Got a brand new uh, print on the back. He's got some real nice arm printing. Plain blue legs. Really nice figure. It's, um, I think it's much better than the one from the previous years. This also appeared in the Spider-Man vs. Sandman Jr. set that I uh, took a look at. I think I really do think that's a good set. I think this is a really good minifigure. Um, anyways, that's it for the minifigure. Let's take a look at the car. Alright, so here we have the car. It's a really cool car. It's kind of hard to see because it's black. My lighting is actually not the best for some reason. Like, normally it's fine, but I don't know why I'm kind of holding my light up right now. Kind of, it doesn't really show up well because it's an all black car. It's odd. But, uh, kind of take a look in there and get, a, this is a really cool build. Like, um, this is definitely a really nice build. I did not expect to enjoy the build as much as I did. This really exceeded my expectations. So, anyway, so basically we're looking at the car and we're going to put ghost the Ghost Rider minifigure in there. He kind of goes in right there. Goes in there. Looks real nice. Uh, I really like... Honestly, my main complaint is that it doesn't show up well on with my lighting setup. I need... All this is telling me is I need better lighting for sets that are black. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking my lights up trying to get a better look at it. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, um, that's it for the car and the Ghost Rider. Uh, it also has a feature where you can add extra bits to it. I'll get them out. So you have this big circular piece which you can the each of the wheels have these little uh, pins, little Technic pins that you put into them. That uh, with st with hollow studs on them, you can just uh, slide them in. Oh wait, that goes on the back wheel. And it, and it rolls just fine. 
Then you can also grab the smaller one, pop it into this one, still real fine. You also have these other pieces. You uh, take these two by one cheese slopes off the side. And what you do is you, so you, uh, what you do, what there is, is there's a little bright orange clip with a trans orange stud. You attach it. You can also attach it without it and it'll just kind of sit like that, which looks pretty cool too. And uh, you also have this other flame piece, which comes shoots up the side. And there's another one on the other side that you can do. So let's grab that. So put it on, pop it on, pop on a smaller one. And uh, the way you put it in is there's this little pin that you can just kind of that just kind of fit into a minifigure hand and just pop it on. Should hold in nicely. There you go. On the back, there's another one that you can do, and you can just take. Two more of these flame pieces. Just kind of, I like to do it like this. Put the small one on on the ins on the inside, so it looks more. Uh. Anyways, so that's how you can kind of get it. Really cool set. Still rolls perfectly fine. Alrighty, we're back. And uh, final verdict on the set is this is a really great set. I did not expect to like this set this much. I am normal, I am not a big super Lego superhero fan set. There are very few sets I actually really, really do like, and this is one of them. First of all, this set has no stickers. This is a really big plus. My only complaint is that it's very black. It. I like the pieces. It has a lot of great pieces. The build is amazing. The minifigures are great. You got a Carnage. I mean, it's a great Carnage minifigure. It's a great Carnage minifigure. They didn't need to make a new Carnage minifigure at all. Great Ghost, Fighter, Ghost Rider minifigure. Great Spider-Man minifigure. It's a great set. Definitely pick it up. It's $20. Really cheap, affordable. Pick it up. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking about dropping one of my videos. I'm just gonna go back to doing just one of my videos, and I'm sure it's one that's not very popular. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content, um, so I can upload more. It's really appreciated. I really like it when you. I really, I really like hearing from you, from, uh, hearing the comments. Uh, I don't get many comments on my videos, and it's a shame. I really like hearing from you. So I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear feedback. I'd love to hear questions. And, uh, yeah, anyways, I hope you all have a good day, and, uh, bye-bye.